Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like there could be something going on at this time where maybe you were able to avoid it for a good portion of the last you know, few weeks or few months, but it feels like something inevitable is happening. Um, like something that you finally need to face or um, come to terms with. Um, it feels like a confrontation or some sort of face-to-face -face kind of like truth moment that you may be having here. For some reason, I feel like there could even be a person that uh, maybe has some undisclosed feelings about you or something that they've been kind of keeping to themselves that it feels like it's creating this very strong tension um, or uncomfortable feeling. And so I feel like someone just needs to kind of get it out there. Like for some reason, I feel like you could be dealing with an energy that um, maybe has to do with, you know, a lack of closure from the recent past or maybe someone that has unfinished business right in their mind. That's maybe what it feels like to them. I feel like this is a person that maybe you necessarily don't have the worst relationship with, but it's almost like you are okay without them as well. So it's a very kind of tricky um, energy, but let's see, we have the Eight of Cups, the Lovers, which is Gemini, uh, the Hanged Man, which is Pisces, and the Queen of Swords. I feel like you've made it perfectly clear how you feel about this person. I think that maybe there was even a moment here where the two of you distanced from each other or there was a separation. For some reason, though, I feel like someone is kind of having second thoughts um, or feeling very differently about you um, in so much so that it's kind of like they are trying to approach you with this very kind of candid, um, subtle gesture of desire. You know, I, I don't really know how else to explain it. I just feel like someone has some very strong feelings for you that they're trying to keep hidden, but it's kind of not working. That hanged man energy is also kind of curious because I feel like somebody here is not necessarily honest with themselves, but they're trying to be when it comes to you because it feels like they're uncomfortable living in denial. So, you know, let's just let's just dive into this to see if we can get some insight. Um, it is, the you know, time of Mercury retrograde. So that can mean a lot of things, especially when it comes to the communication that you could be receiving um, from people right now at this time. But I don't know, it just feels like there's something more to this um, than what it seems like. But let's go ahead and clarify that lover's energy. All right, Knight of Swords. I definitely feel like someone has to say something or get something off their chest, or maybe this is something that has happened already and you're kind of going through the motions of, all right, this is happening now and I have to deal with it. Maybe there's even, you know, a good feeling about this, right? Maybe you are actually happy um, that this person is reaching out, or maybe you are the one that has initiated that conversation. For the most part, it looks like there is a very big change that's happening between you and this person, or something within the connection that's going to help things move forward. We have the Chariot, which is Cancer, Six of Pentacles, and the Empress. So I feel like maybe somebody is finally seeing what they lost, right? Or they're seeing what they didn't value before. Um, for some of you, you could be thinking, well, it's a little too late, right? I know my worth and I'm not going to um, allow someone back in. But for some reason, this feels like it maybe was a mutual thing. Like maybe both of you happen to feel the same way about each other. There was a separation, but now it's kind of like there's this energy of maybe this could work. Maybe we could actually move things forward, right? Maybe the time apart or what we've learned about each other is going to help us. Overall, I feel like the Empress is um, your energy. I feel like you are the one that's kind of like in that position to really set the tone for this connection or this relationship. You know, I think that you um, are very, I feel like you're very grounded at this time, you know, and whoever you're connecting to, maybe that's something that they're still learning to do or they're still catching up um, in a certain way. But it's it's hard to read, you know, um, it's hard to read. So I wonder if this person is maybe giving you not false hope or false impressions, but I wonder if they're acting just completely 
different or the opposite of how they normally would because they know you, right? They know you so well that they're kind of like, well, Scorpio already knows this side of me. So maybe if I present myself a different way and I start showing this effort and giving them this kind of attention, then that will, you know, kind of make them see that I'm interested in moving forward. So it's hard to say who's really... Um, you know, at the forefront on the energy that I'm picking up here. But let's go ahead and clarify the Eight of Cups. All right, we have the Five of Wands. So I feel like the distance or the separation between the two of you was almost unwanted um, to some degree. Like I feel like somebody put up a fight or tried to um, kind of resist that, um, that separation um, as the five of wands falls on the floor. So I feel like the universe is definitely like, yep, they didn't like that. Uh, we have the seven of cups, the sun and the world. So I definitely feel that even though there may have been resistance to that initial separation, Scorpio, this was so necessary because it feels like that allowed you to not only see your world differently, but also maybe you felt happier just, you know, not being in this person's presence and just focusing on yourself. Like maybe you even tapped into your options and really gave yourself the opportunity to explore um, and experience new things, right? Like part of you is like, I needed that time apart to really figure out what I needed or what I wanted um, to see what made me happy and what didn't. A lot of you also had the opportunity to start something new or focus on other things in your life that could now be a big part of your current journey, right, and the current path that you're on. So this was an unexpected uh, blessing in disguise, right, when, you know, there was that decision to kind of separate. But I really feel like that is the biggest thing that the universe wants you to keep in mind is like, remember how you felt when you had that chance to just focus on you. Remember how freeing it was how happy that made you and maybe this is coming up for a reason right and if this not if this is not a romantic relationship per se then maybe this is about a connection that you had with a friend right maybe this is someone from your family maybe this is even like i don't know a coworker or someone or something in your life that you know you may be better without but their energy right now is just so strong that you may have some trouble kind of remembering or thinking through these you know old and new energies because sometimes people can confuse us um, when they are kind of showing up brand new but again hard to read um let's clarify the queen of swords all right we have the tower at the bottom of the deck so um, I feel like this could indicate that there is something here that is very, very key to how you kind of proceed with this um, energy and this person. For some reason, I, I got a thought while I was shuffling for this, um, and it was something along the lines of, you know, has this person really changed or are you seeing them differently because you changed, right? Because sometimes that also happens. We are the ones that are kind of going through that transformation, kind of an internal tower moment of our own, if you will. And when we see that person again, or when we are encountering similar things or familiar things from our past, we don't realize like we see that differently or we are, you know, seeing them differently because we are the ones that changed. And for some reason, I feel like the universe is kind of wanting to bring that up to the surface and maybe highlight that and say, Scorpio, I think you're the one that changed here. So in fact, you know, we have the three of wands, the eight of wands and the queen of wands. So that's a lot of fire. That's a lot of passion. That's also a lot of movement. And I think you're moving quite fast. Um, in your own energy, you're expanding, you're receiving maybe downloads, right? Communication from the universe. You're just in tune, you're aligned. Um, and I feel like that is kind of creating a lot of unique opportunities at this time for you. So when you do come in contact with people from your past, or when you do kind of encounter uh, maybe someone that you haven't seen in a while, the way that you approach them is going to be different because you are different. And so I guess the universe wants you to just think about that for a second and say, well, you know, what does it mean to you? Um, like, is it worth pursuing something because you feel differently? Or, you know, I don't even know what question to ask, but it's almost like maybe you need to just keep doing what you're doing. Like, maybe you need to just keep going, right? Keep that expansion and the focus on moving forward because um, something is kind of channeling you or something is calling you. Um, I feel like the Eight of Wands could even represent that you are going to have a very impactful and important conversation um, or, you know, kind of message 
from someone that kind of puts this into perspective for some reason maybe some of you are having this conversation with you know a divine feminine maybe you know your mother your sister a friend someone that you really count on maybe that kind of puts things into you know a clear um point of view but i feel like you're just on your way um and whatever it is that you're dealing with could be a part of that but if it's not um, that's not your fault, right? It, it almost has little to do with you and more to do with um, how much you've changed. And, you know, this is probably one of the harder reads that I've done for you in a while, Scorpio, because I feel like there's so many layers to it and so many different elements. And, um, But I'm going to clarify one more card uh, just to see if we can wrap it up with some sense. Uh, let's clarify the hanged man. All right, Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like the truth about this, you know, what kind of takes away the confusion from the lo the logic and the facts is something that you find out. Because I feel like right now you may be just holding on to um, kind of like that benefit of the doubt. That's what the Hanged Man kind of uh, brings up for me. It's maybe the feeling of you're giving this person the benefit of the doubt. And so you're not really doing much, right? You're just kind of standing still waiting to see what really is happening, what's really going on beneath the surface. And I feel like this Page of Swords is representing that moment of truth. And right behind the Page of Swords is the Six of Cups. So it's almost like you're getting the truth about this person that you do know from your past or someone that you do have um, some history with. We also have the Five of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. I feel like a part of you is going to want to keep fighting for this or want to keep believing in it, but then that Five of Cups is saying maybe you have to accept or come to terms with something um, that you have suspected, but it's absolutely clear now, right? Like something is so clear that you are maybe realizing, yeah, it wasn't them that changed, it was me. And so moving forward, um, you know, that means that I have to accept that and just keep focusing on me and the changes I'm making and how that's changing my life, right? Maybe this is about one person that you really, really wanted to include in your new world, right? In this new chapter, in this journey that you're on. But a part of you is now realizing, you know, I can't, I can't do that because they're still the same old, same old, right? What they were showing or what I was thinking, it wasn't really that. It was, you know, what was happening within me so I just feel like you're going to get some clarity when it comes to this especially if this is something that you've been kind of pushing through and trying to work through in your mind um, at this time but hopefully this was helpful and insightful and of course um, you know if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and I will see you in the next one